Today we are going to be installing a Ring floodlight cam. Ring products are uh, owned by Amazon, so these are all available on Amazon, and I will post a link for the floodlight camera that we are going to install today down below in the description section. These are really neat products. They can be mounted on the ceiling or on the wall, anywhere that there is a junction box for a light fixture. So I have removed a light fixture and I'm going to be installing this in the same hole where the light fixture was. So let's walk you through it. In the box, you get the light, the instructions on how to install it, but that's why you're watching the video. The mounting plate, an assortment of screws, depending on the type of box you have. Uh, there should be ones in here that are compatible with it. Uh, it does come with a little screwdriver in case you don't have one. Another little bracket and some wire nuts to tie the wires together. We have the light removed so it's all ready to go. Remember to have the power turned off when you're working with any electrical. Uh, the power is off to this wire. The first piece that we're going to want to put on is this little a metal bracket and it's labeled on here front so you want to put that out to the front and I'm going to push these wires all the way to the side like so and I'm going to screw this on now these this will be the D E or F screws uh, mine is fairly shallow in the wall here so I'm going to use the D these short ones Now the main mounting bracket will screw directly to this using the A, B, or C screws, depending on how far recessed your junction box is into the wall. The main mounting bracket will go on like this with the opening on the top, so you'll have to feed all of the wires through the opening. And then this will screw to that little bracket that you put on a second ago i'm going to use the short screw the a screw because mine is fairly close to the wall here and that's going to be what you mount the light on when you're wiring up the light ring was really nice to put this little strap on here and the strap hooks on right here and then you don't have to hold the light while you're wiring it up it'll just kind of hang there and that's really nice I like that feature to wire these on you'll need to remove the little the insulation that's sticking out there The wire comes pre-stripped and they leave you with an awful lot of wire here. Your wire nut's not going to cover all of this if you just go to stick it on there. So you can either cut some of it off or I'm going to try to just fold it in half and twist it up. So once you have your wires all prepped, you'll need your wire nuts. It comes with some wire nuts, but they're kind of small, so I'm going to use some larger ones. Uh, white to white, black to black, and green is the ground, which is the uninsulated wire right here. Once all your wires are secure on there, this part can be kind of tricky because we're going to have to try to poke all the wires back up in here and get the light mounted up. Once you have all the wires poked in there and you've got the light pushed all the way on, you use these little white caps to secure the light to the bracket. You want to get these as snug as you can get them. 
The little screwdriver that comes in the ring kit also will screw these on. You just take the bit out and use the end of it to tighten those down. Once you have everything mounted up there and it's secure, you just aim the lights where you want to have them and point the camera and you'll be ready to uh, install the software for the camera. To do so, you will use the Ring app and you'll scan the QR code and the instructions to link this camera to the app. And it's uh, very easy. You just follow the prompts in the app. If you're going with the Ring floodlight camera, Remember, anywhere that you install this, you'll need to have the power on all the time. So a lot of these outside floodlights are on a switch on the inside. So you'll either need to leave the switch on all the time or remove the switch altogether. That's how you install a Ring floodlight camera. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you back here next time.